Liverpool is a vibrant city full of interesting history. Though a lot of people are unaware of its amazing maritime connections. Known for having one of the biggest ports in the UK, Liverpool has grown incredibly over the years. As one of their most successful ports, the Albert Dock has accommodated various boats and ships. The role of the ship's agent is as the link person between the ship owner and his ship. You are acting on behalf of the ship owner in the port that the vessel comes to. Um, the ship owner obviously can't have his own office in every single port, so they rely on people like ourselves to represent them and to get their ships into port. Whilst the ship is in port, there can be a multitude of tasks that are necessary, which could involve customs work, repair work to the ship, even sending somebody to the dentist. It's a 24 hour, seven day week job. No two days ever the same. It does cut into your social life. Um, as well as many hard times with the number of hours that has to be put in. Shipping has its ups and downs, and White Star Line is an example of this. Joseph Ismay saw the launch and demise of the 20th century's most iconic shipping disaster, the Titanic. In memorial of the Titanic, Albion House, the ex-headquarters of the White Star Line, has now been transformed into an impressive Titanic-themed hotel. Mersey Ferry, managed and operated by Mersey Travel, is an ever-popular tourist attraction, providing services between Pierhead in Liverpool, Woodside in Birkenhead and Seacombe in Wallasey. Although Merseyside is now rich in tourism, it did have very humble beginnings. Because of the nature of the River Mersey, uh, between what's now Birkenhead and Liverpool, it narrows anyway. So there's traditionally been a, a crossing there. Um, and so the, the monastery almost certainly was set up there because there was a, already a sort of an established route across the river. They took over um, the control of the ferry uh, in the uh, 14th century. They got a royal charter to establish a guest house um, that, where they could charge people. Um, and then shortly afterwards they got a royal charter to actually operate uh, the ferry uh, across the Mersey themselves uh, and regularise it so there was an established fare uh, because up to that time it was entirely on the whim of the ferryman how much people got charged. In theory, um, the rights to ferriage from Liverpool to Birkenhead were in other people's hands. When after the dissolution of the monasteries in 1536, um, the Lord of the Manor uh, took over the rights to ferriage Selling on seems to be a common theme within the maritime industry, regardless of the era, as it requires a high level of time and dedication. As Crowder Shipping Limited consisted of uh, just Sheila and myself, and we're not getting any younger, it, we decided that we needed to start thinking in terms of our future retirement, heartache, we decided that maybe the time was right. I did that maybe the time was right. We're very hopeful that um, the company business has gone to good hands and that they'll look after the people that we've dealt with for many years. So that's truly what we're looking forward to now. The maritime industry is well established and is an integral part of Merseyside's cultural identity. Even though times are changing and technology is advancing, sometimes traditional trading still prevails. 
The docks in Merseyside are still very much in use and will be for generations to come.